H Plus series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Joining us today is Matthew Klippenstein, a regional manager for Western Canada for the Canadian Hydrogen Fuel Cell Association. Matthew, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Rachel. Matthew, in your diverse experience in renewable energy, how do you think hydrogen fits within the energy mix? Hydrogen is a little bit like the keystone to any net zero effort. Hydrogen didn't get much attention until a few years ago because if governments are aiming for 20% or 40% emission reductions, it's not really needed. You can switch your grid to renewables or clean energy and then put a lot of batteries into a lot of cars. To get to net zero though, you really do need hydrogen. So it is something of a, a missing puzzle piece, you know, the keystone to any government net zero effort. What are the advantages BC has in the hydrogen sector? What are the opportunities? British Columbia has many strengths that can be leveraged in the hydrogen space. First, it is home to a vibrant cluster in the hydrogen fuel cell sector, whose technology can be used in a variety of applications, particularly in transportation. British Columbia is also home to extensive renewable energy resources, which can be used to generate low emissions hydrogen, green hydrogen, in the idiom. Finally, British Columbia also has low-cost natural gas resources. So the electrolysis hydrogen can also be supplemented by hydrogen derived from below ground hydrocarbons accompanied by carbon sequestration. Finally, British Columbia has our ports facing the Pacific Ocean. And so we're able to not only generate energy in the form of hydrogen for ourselves, but we can also become a supplier of clean energy through hydrogen, perhaps as ammonia, to other countries and other parts of the world. Can you tell us more about the BC hydrogen strategy? What are some key findings you can share? The BC Hydrogen Strategy was released in 2021, and it outlines seven pillars for action moving forward to help the hydrogen sector help the province reach its net zero targets while increasing jobs, economic growth, and prosperity. A couple of the very prominent pillars are the opportunity to develop hydrogen exports, not just allowing British Columbia to reduce its own emissions, but helping other jurisdictions overseas reduce theirs as well. An additional pillar is support for the use of hydrogen in transport. There will be roles for industry as well, but in the British Columbia context, hydrogen's uh, largest role in helping the province reach net zero emissions will be in the transportation sector, most likely in the heavy duty segments where it can capably and efficiently and economically displace diesel. How important is collaboration between energy systems? Do you think Canada is on track to reach net zero emissions by 2050? As with things in nature, energy systems are very interconnected. And in Canada, we have the advantage of a very broad geography. So we can take advantage of the resources available in different regions to get ourselves on this journey to net zero. The Canadian government has provided support to facilitate this, to speed us along our way. And so the private sector, associations like our own, and government are now in the position of being able to work together to get to where we want to go, creating jobs and prosperity while also reducing emissions. In your opinion, Matthew, why should people be paying attention to hydrogen right now? The reason to pay attention to hydrogen right now is that it's still relatively early in the hydrogen game. Being able to enter the hydrogen space at the moment is a little bit like getting into wind perhaps 25 years ago or getting into solar panels about 20 years ago. There is much promise. There is a lot of scale up coming for the sector. The hydrogen sector has many applications worldwide, economy-wide. And so, whereas there are more mature sectors where one can have maybe a smaller piece of the puzzle and help solve that, with hydrogen, there's a huge opportunity to be an earlier mover and to help solve this larger chunk of the puzzle, playing a larger individual role. And here's our H plus question. Matthew, what would people be surprised to know about you? I once had a theater play running at a local community theater. It's about 15 years ago. So did you star in the play? I just wrote it in iambic pentameter. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing and thank you for being part of our Hydrogen Plus series.